Okay, so we're in the test API file and we're in the test one company exists should succeed. So basically in this test, we have one company and we make a REST API call to get all the companies and we return this company. Now we can see over here that we manually create the company of Amazon. So let's try and do it with fixtures. So instead of creating this company Amazon over here, we want to create it inside a fixture and we want to pass that fixture to the test function. So I'm just going to erase it and I'm going to say that this function receives Amazon and now I need to define a fixture which is called Amazon. So I'll create a function which is called Amazon and it's going to return a company and I want it to return company.object.create and I want the name to be Amazon and this is the name. The last thing we want to do is we want to mark this as a PyTest fixture. So it's a PyTest fixture. Now what we done over here, we created a fixture which is called Amazon and we're passing it to this test function. So before this test will begin, PyTest is smart enough to search for a function which is called Amazon and it's going to execute it and the returned object is going to be over here. So we can take this Amazon company object and just replace it over here and we'll just run black. So everything is nicely formatted over here. And let's run this test. And we can see everything works and we use the fixture for this. So this is a very simple example of a fixture. But this example is pretty lame because the fixture value is fixed on Amazon. So what can be better over here? We can create a fixture that will receive an argument of a name and it will return us a company with that name. So that would be much better. So let's try and do that. Okay, so I created at the bottom of the page a section which is called learn about fixture tests. So in order to learn about parameterized fixtures, we first need to write a test that will need actually parameterized fixtures. So I'm going to paste in now this very simple test. And this test is called test multiple companies exists should succeed. So this test is going to initialize three companies, Twitch, TikTok, and test company with the matching names. And it's going to validate that when we make a get request to our company's endpoint, we'll indeed get the companies that are stored in the database. So we can see here I created a company name set and I'm just extracting the company names so I can assert on this later. And I'm using a set over here and not a list because I don't want to care about the order of the companies which is returned. I just want to assert that all the companies exist. So here I am making the get request and I'm turning the JSON that is received to a dictionary and I'm asserting that the length of the company set that I've already initialized is equal to the length of the list I get from the response. So after I asserted that, it is not enough. I want to also assert the company names. So this part over here is me casting the names of the companies into a set containing the names of the companies so I can assert it and to not care about the order of the names. And then I assert that the company names, Twitch, TikTok, and test company name is equal to what we get from the API. So if I'll just run it, I can see that it is working as expected. And now it's time to create a parameterized fixture, which is going to return us a parameterized company. So using the Amazon fixture from before is not going to help us because that fixture is already fixed on the Amazon value for the company name. So we want to create a fixture that will receive a name as an argument and return that company with that name. For that, I'm going to create a fixture and I'm going to call it company. Now in this fixture, I'm not going to return a company. I'm going to return a function which that function received some keyword arguments and that function returns us a company. So I'm going to create a function which is called underscore company factory. So it's going to receive the keyword arguments that this company function receives and this function is going to return us a company. So what I want to do in this function is first I want to pop the name argument from the keyword arguments and if it doesn't exist the name argument I'll just call it test company inc. So this way I will get the company name that this fixture receives. 
And then I simply want to return a company with the name of company name. And I want to call the rest of the keyword arguments if there are any. And at the end, I want to return this company factory from this company fixture. So what's going to happen over here? If we supply this company fixture to our test function, then we know that this company fixture isn't returning us a company. It returns us a function which takes some arguments and that function returns us a company. So what I can do is I can simply erase all these three lines and I can do something like this. So TikTok is going to be equal to company and I'm going to supply it a name equals TikTok. The same thing I'm going to do for Twitch. And here I'm going to write Twitch. And for the test company, I don't want to supply any arguments. So I'll just write like this. And remember, this company over here is a function. So we're going to call this function. And we called it and it returned us now this function. So this function receives some keyword arguments. Okay, so we're sending it keywords arguments and it returns us a company. So this will return us a company. So now if I write company names and I'll write tiktok.name and twitch.name and testcompany.name and let's now run everything. And we can see it worked as expected. Now notice over here that we have here some typing error because TikTok is not recognized as a company. So we can use type hinting to make it a company and it will be gone. So we can do the same for Twitch and the same for test company. We'll just run black. And so we can see now we use the fixture that receives arguments. So let's now just commit our changes. And now we'll push it. And we got here a message from our pipelines that our fixtures that receives argument commit passed successfully. So everything is working as expected. Okay, so now we want to do some advanced magic using PyTest. Now I am warning you in advance this is going to be advanced stuff. So if you don't understand everything in the first view, feel free to rewind and watch it again. 